Well, welcome back, everyone. What an incredible week in markets we've had. On the heels of Rob's two competition wins, getting him up to a 32-time trading champion status over from Italy into the Wealth 365 Summit, and all of the incredible tools and strategies you saw him teach you about during the summit, trade off of and make money during the summit, well, that inspired me to really up the game in the active trader room this week and use the power of the Champion Trend Pack, the Power Scanner, and many, many more tools, especially on a multi-time frame basis, to help me finish the week strong. It was an incredible week in markets this week from a movement standpoint, intra-week, and we've got a great week ahead in front of us. Now, if you take a look at the front half of this week and what happened, with the dip down that you can see here on the daily chart on the SPY. During that portion of the week, I focused mainly on shorts. As we were looking at the back half of the week, we commented to members, very likely we're gonna see some upside action and provided some rationale why, based on the multi time frame scanned outputs and of course, using the champion trend pack to evaluate whether that call, that likely outcome was a higher probability. It did end up coming to fruition and you did see the market rise in today's action. Now, I utilize the insights and uh, of course, strategies coming off of the champion trend pack using the multi time frame approach with the power scanners that you can see on the screen from a daily four hour, one hour, and then of course, ratcheting it down further from a, a day trading standpoint. And I was able to finish this week strong in the active trader room. So I'll take you over to get a quick gander at the domes from the week. And you can see that there were profitable days across this week, finishing the week strong today. And there was a lot of opportunity for long side trading in a market that got squeezed up today. The question mark at the end of the day now is, are we set up to continue to rise or are we running out of gas? Well, take a look at the tools on screen. The daily chart, as you can see here, has got buy signals under the current candle. Of course, you've got Rob's IRB strategy. You've got uh, uh, incremental buy signals, additional signals added to today's candle. While we are on a champion cross buy zone, champion trend buy zone, which you can see very elegantly with a very simple marker right there. We've been in the champion trend buy zone. We've re-upped the game with the last two days of trade. And we've moved in today's trade into and through a slew of negative momentum shifts. Now, we are using some high octane bullish fuel according to the Spike 2.0 tool on that four hour chart and on the one hour chart with a bullish breakout clearly identified. Now, it tends to be a shorter lived move when we're using that high octane bullish fuel. My expectations into next week is that we've got a little softening in the front half of the week and some volatility to be expected with the Fed next Wednesday. Into the back half of the week, the potential for a little more of that volatility to clear and for us to attempt a rise back up again that could potentially even take us up towards, if not above the highs made for the SPY back over here in February. That is what I'm looking for in the back half of the week. The front half of the week, well, into Monday, there is positive momentum that allows the market to say, yes, a little bit of a squeeze higher, possible, probable, but its durability, from my view, is a little bit questionable. So a reset coming back down to refuel and then go again would be par for the course. Now, tomorrow, for those of you listening in that are wealth charters or active trader room members, I am certainly looking forward to being with you for an all day class. Now you can see that this week has been a strong week overall, finishing strong. Of course, past performance does not indicate future results nor past track record. But what I was able to do using the rules and the tools inspired by Rob's competition wins and the tools he taught us all about at the summit was being profitable and being able to use the methodologies in the way that they're meant to be used. So I'm going to be teaching a class tomorrow for all of you lucky wealth charters listening in and active trader room members 
you're going to get a mega session starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, April the 29th. Check your inboxes if you're a Wealth Charter Active Trader Room member. You should have that invite in there. And of course, it's going to be a great session broken into pieces where I'm going to methodically take you through examples how I used the multi time frame approach, how I am able to use that approach to also scan and look for things alternative to the ES like individual stocks. Really excited about the session, super I'm super pumped about being able to share that knowledge with the group overall and of course humbled by that incredible 32 time winning status that Rob has now secured. This is just going to be an incredible class tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you there and of course looking forward to sharing all of that great knowledge and imparting it upon you with rigor and methodically and of course a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, hope to see you there at the class tomorrow morning. I hope that this video was useful for you. Looking forward to seeing you in videos just like these next week. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.